disappearing because of pesticides, herbicide use. So one of the things we're doing is trying to protect the pollinators. So we're trying to protect the butterflies so they can be safe and strong and keep making fruits and vegetables for us and keep pollinating flowers and medicinal plants a lot of your elders know about. So at this point, we're going to uh, shift to the actual instruction because we're gonna, we don't have a lot of time, so we're going to be working pretty fast. Diana, could you please come up as our chief carpenter and uh, explain what's going to happen? This roof doesn't actually go with, yes it does. So the roofs will be like this and, and they're removable. So what we're doing is wherever you see these screws, and there are already holes in these, but you'll be with your partner holding them together and then with the Phillips, Phillips screwdriver screwing those pieces in. And hopefully we'll have time today to put the primer coat of white on. What I wanted to ask you, if you wanted to do some Ojibwe patterns, or if you wanted to do more abstract. The abstract's pretty. Somebody might want to paint flowers on them. The ones on the web are flowers. But and if you wanted patterns, you could either uh, bring some to look at, or I could look up some and bring them. Who thinks you want to do more of a native pattern, or would you like to just experiment? I can show you some different ways to stamp them. And brush, you can put like three colors on and just keep brushing so they sort of blend and they do it rough. All you have to do, and I think the nail he told me is actually a little too long, so you don't have to quite go all the way. Uh, it probably mostly can go most of the way. And if it does, we just pull it out and redo it. And this. See, so it might break, and that's fine. We just keep. Yeah, mm -hmm. And if you put a screw in the wrong spot. I must be going through a knot. Good, I'm going to use this brush. The bristles are all clogged up. the bowls so I don't have to... I'm going to have a uh, screw. Hold it. And I put way too much in last time. So okay, third one. Third one, here she comes. Now, how many of you have done painting before? Everybody. You know, it's it's like sweeping floors. It's not as easy. It's not as it's not as rough as it looks. Is it? So she'll bring some book. We'll bring some paintings. Ask if she got the bag. But watch it with a brush now. This is you can learn something, you guys. And you'll never be the same. It's important to watch. Come on over, would you? Here's what um, you set it on here like this. Um, so as you turn it. And then they can sit out here to dry. And then this can turn once more, so it will all be done, but right, no it'll paint sit, will be It'll on sit it. on the face here. Uh -huh. the only now, watch this. now a couple of these brushes have a little bit of water up in here, which will make it drippier. The only thing, and there's this little See that wire little, here. That little wire there. If you push these too hard into the bottom, they're going to pick up that old gloppy paint. And you're going to be really frustrated. So just dip them. Go like this. The trick with painting is don't flip it. If you flip it, anybody standing next to you is going to get covered. You want to go with well, the you can, you can decide can to you go like this? this to cover and then go back. Then go it depends. It. And if you want to leave texture everywhere. <laughs> okay. But the thing is just don't like this. And it doesn't need to get all the way up to here. If it does, it drips. And try to be as careful as you can not awful. to get stuff on the front. And if you do, we'll sand it off, and but try not. We are going to paint this part. We tried not mm -hmm. to before, and it dripped on it, and we had to do it anyway. The trees, the plants, and uh, I want to thank uh, the Spirit for all the people here today, and to thank for all the connectedness that we have today. It's through these interconnections that we find healing, and I want to thank the Great Spirit for that. Chimi Blutch, Chimi Blutch, Chimi Blutch, Chimi Blutch. Tell me what you think about what the kids are doing here. Oh, I, I'm, I'm delighted. I um, am proud to be a part of this, and I'm sure that when I look back on my years in service as a botanist, this is going to be one of the high points for me, to be a part of this, to watch this 
grow. It has a tremendous potential. It makes so much sense and it serves a lot of needs, ecological, for youth, for people. I'm delighted. I did not know there were butterfly houses. Everybody's heard of birdhouses, but I didn't. Yes. So butterflies really use these. They use the houses for hibernacula, or, or they will um, overwinter. Some types of butterflies, well, the monarch migrates south, to Mexico and the California monarchs m move to the coast. They move east-west, but most of our monarchs here move south. Um, but there are some butterflies that actually can be like a year and a half, almost two years old. And they hibernate. They hibernate in, in the bark of wood. Morning cloaks are one example of that. So when you see a morning cloak, which is a black butterfly with blue lines on it, really, really early in the spring, you think, how did that get here so fast? How did it, well, it, it came out of a piece of bark, or maybe it came out of a, a butterfly hibernacula. So some of them have an amazingly long, long lifespan, and the, they use, they use the, the containers. So that's a neat thing. There's also um, bee houses, besides the, the bee, beekeeper's bee houses, which are easy to make. They're, you drill little holes in a chunk of wood, and mason bees use them. They lay their eggs in there, the larvae come out. Mason bees are, uh, again, you know, the top drawer pollinators, and it's really easy to make houses for them. And they're very docile creatures. You can buy those houses, you can make them yourself. Um, easy stuff to do, real ex inexpensive stuff, stuff to do. Things that people can do in, in backyards. You don't have to drive 300 miles to a pristine environment to, to make a difference and to teach kids about this. Thank you very much, Buffalo Horse, for that.